Hi, this is Chong. This video is for Steam Ops or anybody who has interest in simulation program with Ledao's lip system. While transcribe the written scenario into lips, a state or event may need multiple response to describe unique parameter phenomenon. For example, with IV bolus propofol, parameters swing distinctively to reflect its side effect, which may need timely interventions. With teams, when an event is activated, a parameter is limited to a response. It means a delay, a transition, and a state of condition with a click in team. Thus, team has limitation in describing some common parameters maneuver with specific conditions. In contrast, the row above in another arrangement of IV bolus propofol, an event with four layers of response. A trigger seamlessly activate multiple conditions which initiate with individual time sequence. This video will be introductions of scenario programming for manual operations with multiple response or substates maneuver with lip sim designer. This is an extension of previous team programming videos. Some techniques are common between teams and scenario. If you'd like to know more about tricks of lips programming, do click the top right video link. Customize parameter swing of bolus IV propofol. In OR simulations, bolus IV propofol induce unique parameter oscillation. It is achievable with multiple layers of command. The primary maneuver are immediate dips of blood pressure followed by progressive regains of blood pressure to near baseline, while heart rate compensates simultaneously. In simulations, Medikin's operator activates event bolus IV propofol upon weakness learners inject the medication. First response initiate blood pressure dip and heart rate compensation. Second response kicks in to normalize blood pressure and heart rate with predetermined time sequence. This following video demonstrates how to program this maneuver with scenario via Sim Designer. Scenario programming with Sim Designer for manual operations. Scenario control simulation in automatic or manual mode. Moreover, multiple response within an event, trend, and handlers can be embedded in scenario. To begin with, click the Dow Simulation Home icon. In Record and Design column, activate Sim Designer. Next, click Create Scenario in Sim Designer. Similar to Team Programming, let's state title and select mannequin here. As mentioned, scenario can be executed with or without simulator operator. But this video focuses on manual execution, which means operator's inputs are required in simulation training. This is to predetermine the patient's monitor's mode. If scenario is planned to execute has algorithm flow, click the black color parameter box. Otherwise, as focus of this video, click to add event at the left window and to run the event and states has if TV channel. First state is baseline. This event is retrieved from the lips library and it will be triggered for baseline in simulations. Once baseline tag is formed, click it to build required event according to the written scenario. Each row is an event and this event is baseline. Click to add response at the right to pack commands into baseline. In here, automatic response window can house handler and trend for complex commands in scenario execution. Transcribe written scenario into vital signs and additional symptoms window. The vital signs window holds parameters for baseline, a state commonly used for mannequin's orientation. Detailed additional symptoms may not stated in written scenario, but symptoms are essential to complement the parameters and simulation state. For instance, eyelids movement and breathing sound volume can translate to patient's emotional state. The baseline state is ready with a response box. For next state, click Browse Event. To ease event library, common event label is used and edited to match written scenario. The second event is titled Pre-Oxygenation. Again, click to add event on the right and insert required commands. In pre-oxygenation, transitions are added to enhance parameter fertilities.
Delay are also set in additional symptoms to complement simulation fertility. Insertions of additional response in event with scenario programming. The third event, bolus IV propofol, 4 when customized parameter fluctuation is needed. So let's pack it with more response or substates. The initial response is to create rapid blood pressure dips, heart rate raise, apnea, and closed eyes. First response is created. Next, click here to add another response. Delays are needed in second response, so to allow first response completions prior to subsequent state. Second response focuses on gentle parameters recovery to replicate act of propofol hemodynamic impact. With extra response, two states parameters oscillation is possible to simulate unique parameters presentations. Once the scenario is completed, click OK at the left lower corner to scenario main page. In main page, verify the program events has listed in windows on the left and save the scenario accordingly. Open program scenario in Libs. In the Dow Simulation Home, activate Lib Instructor applications. Connect Libs to Medikins or activate Virtual Simulator. Select Virtual Simulator as per written scenario. Trigger automatic mode to reach for program scenario. Activate the appropriate scenario. Once start session, the program events are listed in the scenario window and click each tag to activate the program commands. Additional examples of scenario events with multiple response or substates. Return of spontaneous circulation event flow is packed with three responses. Initially, the detected defibrillation turns shockable rhythm into a flat line. After a brief pause, second response activates progressive gains of heart rate and blood pressure with frequent ECG atopic. Eventually, ROSC completed with all parameters gently return to near baseline. In simulations, this arrangement will reinforce learners to verify ROSC with patient's monitor. Examples of ROSC crafted with these substates. 1. Detected defibrillations turn ventricular tachycardia into ECG flatline. 2. Progressive gains of heart rate with atopics, blood pressure, SpO2, flood of CO2. 3. Gradual fall of ECG atopic and returns of parameters to near baseline. Alternatively, in this arrangement of worsening hyperkalemia progressive into R on T induced VT and VF simulations. A simulation flow that allows learners to act to prevent cardiac arrest instead of react to the arrest. Alright, that's all for this video. Wish that you find this concept helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in next video. Bye bye.